uh, this witness was sworn, so we will begin with our testimony at this time. Mr. Smith? Tell us your name, please. Sarah Campbell. And how are you employed? With the Child Protection Team. And where is that located? It's located at Gulf Coast Children's Advocacy Center in Panama City. Okay. Tell the jury what the Child Protection Team is, what, what function you serve in the community. Um, we are available to interview children um, in regards to many different things, and we also provide medical evaluations, psychosocials, and psychological ev evaluations. And do you yourself have any special training in regard to interviewing young children? Yes, sir. Uh, were you called upon back in, on August 8th of last year, were you called upon to interview a young child named A.J. Hutto? I was. And uh, how long, give us an idea of how long your interview with him lasted? Approximately an hour. And was he conversant? Was he able to answer questions and, and interact with you in an appropriate manner? Yes, sir. What was the purpose of the interview? What, what information were you trying to elicit from A.J. Hutto? I was in, um, requested to interview him in regards to his sister, Adriana Hutto. Okay. And what was your information regarding Adriana? Um, Adriana was airbacked to Bay Medical Center and was pronounced dead at the hospital. Um, it was reported AJ told his investigators, uh, law enforcement investigators, about Adriana being dead in, in the pool. Right. And so you were trying to follow up on that and get more information about yes, exactly sir. what happened. Was he able uh, generally to tell you what happened to his sister and uh, why she ended up in the swimming pool? I mean, yes, he was. Oh, just tell us what basically what the gist of his information was. Uh, which part of the interview? Uh, just, just the beginning part. Uh, specifically, did he talk about some Windex in the house? Yes, sir. Okay. And what did he say about the Windex? He said Adriana was spraying Windex on the television bed and closet door. Okay. And what happened? Was she punished for that or what happened when, when she was spraying the Windex? According to the report, Adriana was told by her mother to go to her room um, numerous times. Okay. And uh, did that, was, a, was Adriana obeying her mother at that point? Uh, according to the report, no. She had come out of her room. Okay. So couple. all this happened inside the home from what a AJ was telling you? Yes, sir. Okay. And what was his explanation for how his sister drowned in the pool? He said, um, Adrian, I got dunked in the pool. How many times did he say she got dunked in the pool? It was reported by AJ that she, she got dunked four times. Four times? Yes, sir. In the interview, did you ask him speci specifically if he actually saw his sister getting dunked? I did. And what was his answer? Okay, Mr. Smith, you may, you may continue. Uh, do you remember the question? I do not. Okay. I asked you, uh, if I recall, whether during the interview you asked AJ specifically, did he see his sister getting dunked or drowned? I did. And what was his response to that question? AJ denied seeing her get dunked. Okay. Did he have, was he able to place himself at a location outside the home while his sister was apparently drowning? He was. And where did he place himself? He placed himself at the garbage can tree. Okay. Now, after uh, his sister was discovered in the swimming pool, did he describe what his mother did upon being, uh, being alerted to the fact that his sister was in the pool? He did. Okay, and how, how, did, how did he describe his mother? What did he say his mother was doing? Um, he made a motion as if his mother threw up. As if his mother was throwing up? Yes, sir. He didn't say that in, in words, did he? No, sir. 
Did he also mention uh, uh, throwing a white bucket at his sister? Yes, sir. And uh, tell me how that came up. What, what specifically did he say about a white bucket? AJ said, Do, would you like the whole quote? Go ahead. Yeah, tell, tell us exactly what you remember about the white bucket. This is his quote. So when I went over there, I got in the wagon, so I threw the white bucket at her. She wasn't moving at all. She was just floating. Okay. Now, did, did he ever give you an explanation for why he couldn't see his sister drowning or being dumped? Yes, I did. What did he say in that regard? AJ responded, um, I couldn't because I'd get in trouble. Okay, so he, he said he didn't see it because if he did, he would get in trouble. Yes, sir. All right, that's all I have, Judge. Mr. Baskin. <laughs> Good morning, Ms. Campbell. Good morning. This interview lasted about an hour? Approximately. You had interviewed Alec Michael before you interviewed AJ that night, right? Yes, sir. And about what time was this? If I um, remember correctly, I don't have the exact time, but it was around 8.30 at night I started <coughs> interviewing Alan Michael. And so when you started inter interviewing AJ, about what time would it have been? I believe it was approximately around 9 o'clock at night. Okay. I'd like for you to look. Do you have a copy of your summary of this? With I do. You? I'd like for you to look on the first page of that summary with AJ. And to put this in context, the questions that Mr. Smith uh, has asked you. I'd like for you to start with the one, two, three, the third paragraph in that summary, ma'am, and read that third paragraph because in that third paragraph he talks about the wind. He talks about spraying stuff. Adriana spraying stuff, right? Okay. I, you see what I'm talking about? The third paragraph down. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. And in the fourth paragraph he talks about her spraying the Windex too, right? Yes, sir. All right. And then he talks about up at the top of the next page about uh, the consequences of that, about Adriana being dumped up there, about the third line, right? Yes, sir. And the, then the threats that were made. All right, so let's start, ma'am. Start off, read that first. Now, you, you wrote this report soon after this event, right? Yes, sir. And you also used the, the videotape as you were writing this event, if you needed to go back, you looked at the DVD or videotape so you could put in the words in there. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right. So if you would, ma'am, this summary there on the third paragraph, would you read that to the jury, please? AJ lives with his mother, Amanda Lewis, her boyfriend, Alan Conley, his big brother, Alan, and sister. AJ stated, but my sister's in the hospital. She's dead. When asked what happened to his sister, AJ stated, she was messing with a bunch of stuff she was not supposed to that was in the cabinet that was Alan's. So she started messing with the spray and playing in the wall so she got dunked by my mama, Amanda. So I was screaming, so the Army, the police, and the fire department. His sister's name is Adriana, and she is seven years old. And now that fourth paragraph, ma'am, continue. AJ described the events of the day. Adriana was spraying Windex on the television bed and closet door. AJ was taking a nap on the blue bed in front of the red couch. He was woken up by Adriana slamming a cabinet door in the kitchen. Adriana was told by her mother to go to her room numerous times. Adriana came out of her room and was watching cartoons. AJ went and told his mother Adriana was watching cartoons. His mother told Adriana, go back in your room before you get dunked. Adriana went back into her room. Adriana then came out of her room again to get a drink. He told Adriana to put her drink back on the counter. Adriana started spraying the television with the Windex. His mother heard Adriana spraying the television. 
She came out of the room and told Adrian, if you come out one more time, I'm going to dunk you. Now go back in your, no go, now go back in your bedroom now. Adrian told her mother, no ma'am. His mother grabbed Adriana's shirt and took her outside to the pool. His mother stated to Adriana, get in the pool and scoop out the bug, or excuse me, and scoop the bugs out. If I kill you by dunking you until you die, I'm going to tell AJ to call the police. I told mama, I ain't going to call the police on her. On her. I'm going to call the police on you. So when she got done dunking her, she told her to go to the park until she gets over there. Adriana told her mother she did not want to go to the park, but her mother sent her. His mother left to get Adriana from the park and return home. AJ was standing on the steps of the house when his mother returned with Adriana. AJ stated, so when she came come up the driveway, Adriana was crying. So she was trying to escape from mama. My mama pulled Adriana back into the car and said, you ain't going to escape from me. So she throwed Adriana in the pool and she told her, if you don't scoop out the bugs, I'm going to dunk you. AJ was near the garbage can tree playing with his tractors when his mother dunked Adriana in the pool. He denied he saw his mother dunk Adriana in the pool. He heard Adriana screaming. He yelled to his mother, what's going on back here? He saw Adriana upside down in the pool. Now, could I stop you right there for just a moment, Ms. Campbell? When AJ, let's go back to that right there. When AJ was there around the garbage, near the garbage can tree, he said near the garbage can tree, mm -hmm. and he heard his mother dunking Adriana, and Adriana was screaming, and he yelled to his mother, what's going on back there? Now, you've had an opportunity to see that tape, right? Is that when AJ became real animated and acted that out and raised his voice, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you demonstrate to the jury <clears throat> how AJ is telling the story and what he does, how he becomes animated? And, and use his words and the expression like he was telling the story and then the expression that he put in when he came to that department. Um, if I remember correctly, he was just animated with his arms, talking, um, raising his voice at some times. Um, I don't have the video in front of me, so. When it got to that point, ma'am, isn't it true that AJ said, and I yelled back there, what's going on back there? I mean, he raised his voice like that, didn't he, ma'am? Yes, sir. All right. If you would continue, ma'am. He saw Adriana. Okay. He saw Adriana upside down in the pool. So when I went over there, I got in the wagon, so I threw the white bucket at her. She wasn't moving at all. She was just floating. His mother was in the house cleaning. After he threw the bucket at Adriana, he yelled at his mother, Adriana not doing nothing at all. She's just dead upside down in the pool. His mother started crying. He yelled at her to call the ambulance. Mama, Adriana's dead in the pool. She's upside down. She's just laying in the pool in the water. So Mama was peeking out the sliding glass door, and I told Mama, and when my Mama came outside, she said, what? Come look at a what Adriana's doing. Nothing. She's just laying in the pool. Come look. AJ demonstrated the motion his mother made, which looked like she was throwing up. She told him to stop screaming, or he was going to end up the same as Adriana. His mother called Alan. Alan told her to call the ambulance. After she was done talking to the ambulance, the police department and the, quote, ambulance department came to the house. Her lips was purple, so everyone of the 911 people came to my house because Adriana's eyes were closed and brown water was coming out of her mouth and her lips was purple. So she called 911, and after she called 911, she called Alan from work. And then Alan told Mama, let's pull her out of the pool, because I don't want dirty brown water in my pool, so let's pull her out. His mother laid Adrian on the grass, and when his mother opened up Adrian's mouth, dirty water was coming out of her mouth. AJ stated, his, AJ stated his mother told him to go into the house to get Alan Michael. Alan Michael was in the shower. I was crying because Adriana was dead. He told Alan Michael Adriana was dead. Alan Michael got out of the shower and put his clothes on. When he went outside, Alan Michael said, this ain't cool. Alan Michael took him to the house to watch cartoons. 
Now in that next paragraph, ma'am, that's when you talk about dunking. You wanted to try to see what he meant by the word dunking. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right. And if you would. AJ Stennett dunk, quote, means you hold people's head or face and then you put them in the water or a pool or a lake or you do it at the beach. His mother threw Adriana in the pool. AJ demonstrated with his hands how his mother covered Adriana's face. AJ stated his mother dunked Adriana in the pool four times. Now, how did AJ demonstrate to you that his mother dunked Adriana? He did like this. But he, but he did it with his left hand, didn't he, ma'am? I don't have the video in front of me. But you wouldn't disagree if I said left? No, sir. And finally, and finally, there was some additional talk there as uh, about discipline and dunking in that next paragraph. And you, if you would just, I'm not talking, I'm just, I may have pushed the word to me. Over on the last paragraph, ma'am. Of the interview. There was some question about whether or not uh, he had actually seen his mother dunk him. Would you read that? Hold just a second. Would you read that entire paragraph there, ma'am? The last paragraph. Yes, sir. AJ was asked how he knew Adriana was dunked in the pool. He responded, I heard her screaming. AJ was asked if he saw her get dunked in the pool. AJ responded, I couldn't because I'd get in trouble. He denied seeing her get dunked in the pool. Thank you, ma'am. Any objections to Ms. Campbell returning to her work in the state?